Hey guys, my name is Jay, welcome to my channel. This is where I like to share my art projects with you and today I'm gonna to be custom painting a pair of Air Force One shoes. Now these are quite a popular shoe to customize and I thought I'd dip my toe in, see what it's all about. I'm gonna be painting them in a Miles Morales Spider-Man theme. Uh, the Into the Spider-Verse movie has a fantastic color palette and design choice. I thought they looked excellent on a pair of shoes. And I'm gonna be using Angelus paints. Now I love Angelus paints, they're a fantastic product. Uh, once I bought these a couple of years ago, I haven't turned back. So if you're looking at starting out painting shoes or clothing, highly recommend them. This is not a paid promotion. I just really do back this product. So uh, this is going to be part one. Uh, the second shoe will be part two. Stick around, find out what that is. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so off camera, I've wiped the shoe down with some acetone to get rid of that factory coating that you usually find on the outside of leather shoes. Just helps the paint stick a bit better. And uh, I've got some masking tape to cover up all the areas I want to leave white. Okay, so we're going to begin with doing the background first. I'm going to use the airbrush to get these colours down. Now, I've been a big Spider-Man fan since I was a kid. Had some of the comic books. Love watching the cartoons before school. And uh, Into the Spider-Verse was my introduction to the Miles Morales character. And uh, I love the design of that film. Uh, the colours really just made a, a statement in every scene. Uh, very deliberate design choice and uh, I really want to recreate that in, uh, in shoe form. Now that I've got the three main colours down, I'm going to use a lighter tone just to help blend these together. Just throwing in some really light blue here and of course my airbrush clogged up and then shot a bunch of paint out. Uh, I wasn't too stressed with this though because uh, we're adding some extra layers. We can cover this up, no worries. I really love some of the particle effects in the uh, final scenes of the film, so I want to recreate something similar to that. So I'm going to hand paint these randomized spots and uh, mostly keep them within their own regions and let them scatter out a little bit into the neighboring colors. Not only will this give us something interesting to look at, uh, but it'll also create some movement to the, uh, to the image itself. I reckon I can make this pop a little more, so I'm going to airbrush some orange and scatter some yellow particles across the bottom end of the shoe. And I think that looks pretty good. So I thought I'd just spend a moment to share a life hack with you guys. If you want to make a quick and easy stencil and you don't have a stencil cutter or uh, those big masking rolls, get a phone or a tablet, stick some strips of masking tape together, load the image up that you want and stick that over the screen. Turn the lights out and you've got yourself your own little light box. This obviously works best for smaller images because you're limited by the size of the, uh, of the phone or the tablet, but uh, it's great for those like little tiny projects where you just need a, a short quick stencil or just to get the basic outline of something um, cut out. And once you've got that all traced up, peel it off and uh, get a really, really sharp knife and cut it out. Now, I won't be using this for my shoe, but I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. I've actually sketched up my own design of Miles Morales in the pose that I want and I think will work. And I've printed a few copies out and I will show you why shortly. Doing it this way is really helpful uh, because you can work out the placement and you're not going to put the image where you got unwanted stitch lines or, or segments of the shoe that are going to interfere with the, with the details. So, Speaking of detail, I haven't really added any to the sketch at the moment because we're going to worry about that when we actually paint. And because we're going to hand paint this, we're going to trace around the, the core shapes of this sketch as well and then fill the rest in as we go. So I like to cut out a bit of tape, roll it up, stick it on the back, and then that holds this image in place while I trace around the different sections. Once I've completed that step, I peel that off, leaving a nice uh, simple silhouette. I can cut out some of the other uh, components of the image and trace those onto the shoe as well. So by cutting it out, I basically give myself another edge outline. So where the neckline is, where the jacket, where the shoes, that sort of thing. So the reason why I said print out a couple of copies is because you can do this multiple times uh, because you will run out of uh, 
of parts to cut out because you'll be cutting section by section. So you're kind of just reconstructing the, uh, the original image. So the first steps of painting miles would be to block in the main colors. So this may take a couple of layers, just depending on the opacity of the paint. And this color would be your mid-tone. So that's the color between your shadows and your highlights. So if you do make a mistake, you can revert back to that mid-tone and, uh, and begin again. So we'll go on with painting the Spidey suit, the shoes, the hands, and uh, the shorts. Now that the main colors are blocked in, we're going to work on the highlights. I like to start with highlights first. Some people like to work with shadows. It's entirely up to you. Uh, important thing is to pick your light source. So find a direction of where that light's going to be. And I find when doing highlights, always think of your image as a series of basic shapes and what parts of those shapes would be lit up by that light source. Now I've really noticed I've buggered the hand up. Uh, so this is a good time to show you how to revert back to that mid-tone and fix a mistake. Uh, luckily for me, the mid-tone here is black. It's uh, part of his costume. But if it was where his jacket was, then you just paint it blue and then you just re-add the highlights and the shadows. Pretty easy to fix. Okay, a little better. With that light source I mentioned earlier, I really want to emphasize that that color around the, uh, the edge of uh, miles. So we're gonna use a turquoise and just run a thin line around some of those edges that are facing our top left. And uh, it should really um, make that image pop from that side and separate it a little more from the background. And it also helps crisp up some of those edges. And now just using a bit of a watered down black to draw in these spiderweb lines on his hands and just creating a little more contrast between those shadowed areas. And I'm just doing an orange edge highlight as though there were a secondary light source in the bottom right. Uh, so run a nice thin line of orange, very similar to what we did with the turquoise. I've just decided on the fly that I wanted to put some spider webs behind uh, Miles. So kind of them coming from his back area, but still be part of the background. I'm just gonna have some webs that spread out, fan out towards the heel of the shoe. And uh, again, just makes it a little more interesting and um, suits the Spider-Man theme, obviously. In order to get some nice straight webbing coming from his web shooters, I've used some masking tape once again, and uh, that's just gonna be my edge to get the path of that web to kinda of look as straight as I can. And you kinda of want it to line up with the angle of his forearm as it leaves his wrists as well, otherwise it looks a little bit odd. So once you've got your, your guideline painted out, you can peel that tape off and uh, go from there. Fanning some webs out towards the, uh, the toe there like it's been shot at and stuck around the, the toe of the shoe. And uh, different thicknesses and different highlights along the web kind of makes it like the light is catching it at different points. I like to make the main strand of webbing um, a little bit whiter because it's a little thicker so it would catch more light. And uh, also add a few little twists and turns of rogue strands as it's, uh, as it's wrapping around that, that main bit of webbing. I decided on the inside of the shoe, I want to have the Miles Morales Spider-Man logo, the graffiti styled look. 
and I think that red logo will look really effective against that dark bluey black background. Well, that just about does it. I'm going to give this a spray with Angelus acrylic finish. I'm going to unmask. I'm going to lace it up. And keep an eye out for part two, where I'll be painting the second shoe in a Spider Gwen theme. So, cheers for hanging out. This video was made partly possible on a PC built by Queensland Networks. Click the link below for your PC and gaming needs. If you guys enjoy this content and you want to show your support, head on to my Patreon page, link also down below.